guys sorry for the crappy lighting of course she's all washed out but anyways I just wanted to do a video about Bellamy and tell you guys a little bit about her story probably tell you guys more I'm working on writing it out so eventually that will happen Bellamy lives in a little house with her family next to this magical forest and her world is kind of it's magical, but it's not like airy fairy type magical. It's more Pan's Labyrinth and less Lord of the Rings. It's kind of terrifying, but also super magical and wonderful at the same time. Like it's all these things blobbed into one. So she lives next to this forest and only magical things can live in the forest. There's some like really terrible things in there and her family one night is pretty much murdered by the what I'm calling the terrible darkness it's like it's not it's like the fog but it's just blackness like there's no light at all in it it's like the blackest black you could ever see it's like it has a consciousness but it's just this dark blackness so it's like a creature but it's not like a creature but it's really terrible it's called the terrible darkness and um, it will destroy you pretty much if you get caught in it and her family is murdered by it um, somehow she doesn't get murdered I'm not totally sure how but she is captured by fairies who are not nice fairies they are very bad fairies <laughs> and they go on raids and stuff all the time and kidnap things from the real world um, and so she's taken into the forest by the fairies but she's rescued by Ludwig and his little community of I'm calling them wood goblins. My husband said that earlier and I was like, yeah, that's, that's what they are. They're wood goblins. They kind of are a little bit like the Ewoks in Star Wars. And they live in like these little huts in the trees because the terrible darkness is on the ground. And um, so they put their houses in the trees so that they can be away from the terrible darkness. And Ludwig and his little family save him, or save her from the fairies. And then she goes and lives there with them. And yeah. Eventually, after she's living there with them for several years and very happy living living there, she is somehow they the humans figure out that she's living in the forest and they're like, Oh my gosh, that's horrible. She needs to live out here with us, even though she's perfectly happy living in the forest, even though it is scary, but she still is happy in there she's happy living with Ludwig because he's her best friend the humans are like oh, we need to get her out of there because the forest is a horrible place and so I'm not sure how yet but they take her out of the forest by force Ludwig is trying to help her like get her back but they the humans have guns so she's like no no run away they're gonna hurt you just get away and I'll try to come back to you um, and so she's taken back to the human world and they're like trying to convince her that no your experience was horrible and like part of it was like obviously her family being murdered it was horrible but um, a lot of it was really happy and she really loves the little wood wood goblins and um, so they're like trying to convince her that no your place is here with us and you'll be happier here with humans like you and that forest is scary and horrible and they're just trying to like convince her that no really you want to be here where you belong and she's young like she whenever her family's killed she's like I don't know 12 and so whenever she finally gets taken back to the human villages she's like 15 or 16 so she is pretty young so she's impressionable, you know, she's like, maybe they're right, maybe I should be living here with them and being a human and not living with 
wood goblins and trees and that's crazy i should be living in the house and with humans and doing human things and learning how to be a human and yeah right and so she's just really confused because she like you know her heart is telling her no you want to be with the goblins you want to be living with ludwig your best friend in the world but then her head you know and everyone around her is telling her no that's a terrible idea you need to be um you know with humans like you so it's just a uh, her her turmoil about that and um figuring out who she is and where she belongs and, and I think she'll live with them for about a year and then she decides or maybe a couple years she'll live with them for a while like trying to figure out you know where she belongs and then she finally like she keep, she's always dreaming about Ludwig and uh, one day I think all this time Ludwig is looking for her um, he leaves the forest, which is like super dangerous for him. Even though the forest is dangerous, it's more dangerous for him to be outside of it because he is magical. And so he's just not as protected by the magic, you know, because people can kill him and stuff out there in the, in the human world. So he's looking for her like, all this time. And then, because I think they take her pretty far away from the forest because they're trying to like shelter her from that and try to like convince her that oh no that was terrible remember that horrible place well it's far away and far away in your mind and just think about being a human and I think that one day she is um I don't know where she is but uh, I don't know if she's inside like her house or if she's outside and then she like catches a glimpse of him and then she's like she just realizes that no I'm not happy here. I hate it here. I'm not like these humans anymore. I'm different and that's okay and I want to be where I'm happy. And so she runs back to the forest with Ludwig and they live happily ever after. <laughs> that's basically her whole story. Um, and I'm going to write it up. I've already started writing it up. But yeah, I just need to finish writing it and then I can read it to you guys. That'll be fun. So yeah, this is my dear, my dear Bella. I love her very much. And I love her with Ludwig. They look so cute together. I think I already showed you, but I just love them. Look how cute they are. Oh. She's cute with all of them, too. I like having them all, like, gathered around her. It's so cute. I also think that she practices, like, medicines and stuff because Rudolph, the little gray um, goblin that they have, he is, like, the doctor of their little village. So, um... She learns a lot from him and learns about medicine and plants and like about the magical plants and stuff and how to use them and stuff. So she's she's kind of like an herbalist kind of. And her story is actually based on a real life person whose name is Olive Oatman. Um, and her family was going to the west. Her family was Mormon and they were heading to the west. And her family was killed by um, a tribe of Native Americans and they captured her and took her and she lived with them for a couple of years and she became like their slave kind of and um then another tribe found out that she was there and they did like trading with this other native american tribe and so they were like hey we really would like to buy her from you guys and they're like nah but then they finally convinced them to be able to buy her and so they bought her and her little sister and they went and lived with them and it was more like an adoptive, you know, family and they treated her like part of their family and their tribe and stuff. And her sister did eventually die from sickness, but then um, she lived with them for several years. And then the white guys, some white soldiers were like, hey, why is this white girl living with you guys? They sh she should be living with us. So they buy her back from the natives and um, take her back to white people land <laughs> and she lives the rest of her life in, with uh, you know white people and is 
later on she like gets married and like does all the things that you're supposed to do you know and then uh, she later in her life she's a super depressed and unhappy person and died so yeah Bellamy's story is a bit happier <laughs> at the end because <laughs> she goes back with Ludwig and lives with him in their forest so yeah um that's it that's pretty much all about Bellamy and I'm super excited. I want to make her dioramas and I want to take her into the forest and take pictures of her. And I'm excited to get her face up. I can't wait. It's going to be awesome. And yeah, I'm going to stop talking because this video is going to be really long. So thanks for watching. Bye.